Hi everyone, it's Alex from Soberosity here with your outdoor living tips and today I want to talk to you about cooking while in the backcountry. After a long day hiking, snowshoeing, skiing, or whatever way that you have fun in the woods, it's nice to have a good meal that's not only going to replenish your energy and nutrients, but it's also going to boost your morale and keep you happy while out on the trails. So first I want to talk to you about three different ways that you can pack food out into the backcountry and we'll get into how to prepare them and what use each may have. So the three different ways are the hobo meal, the dehydrated meal, and the homemade meal. The first style of cooking is what I lovingly refer to as the hobo meal and this is going to be something you fully prepare at the house and throw into an open bed of coals or an open campfire. When making a hobo meal I usually use potatoes, carrots, onions, garlic, any type of peppers or beans and then I add in whatever spices and olive oil or coconut oil. This meal is going to be the heaviest of all three meals because there is so much water still in all those vegetables. This is going to be the first meal you're going to want to eat just so you're not carrying around that pack weight as well as not having to worry about if it's going to spoil or not. The second type of meal in the backcountry is going to be the freeze dried or dehydrated option. So this meal is going to be something that's not going to take up a lot of space in your bag. It's also not going to be very heavy. They can be expensive. There are a lot of different brands. You'll find them at almost any outdoor store or gear shop near you. So I don't want to harp on them too much, but they're great to have in the pack in case of an emergency as you only need to add boiling water and they can cook within the package usually. Which brings me to my favorite meal, which is the homemade meal. And it's something you're going to create yourself. This is a place where you're going to be able to get creative with what you're going to add to it as long as it's something that only needs to be lightly simmered or heated up or needs to be cooked in boiling water. So no matter how you're cooking, whether it is over an open flame on a pot or you do have an actual cook system, this is going to be two quick and easy meals that you can make out in the backcountry. The first of the two meals is going to be breakfast and before I leave the house, I mix up oatmeal, add in some brown sugar and some raisins, mix that all up in a Ziploc bag and I'll also take a little bit of peanut butter, add it to a second bag. This is a great meal because I call it a fire and forget meal. What you're going to do is add the boiling water to the oatmeal and then you can just cover it to keep some of that heat in, keep it cooking and you're able to walk around the campsite, do whatever else you need to do. And for lunch, I usually prepare a quinoa and lentils meal. So I'll throw my quinoa into my secondary pot. I'll throw boiling water into that, stir it a little bit, close it up, and then I'll focus on simmering my lentils. Both of these are going to take a little under 15 minutes to cook, but it's a great meal packed with carbohydrates, protein, and lots of other great things for your body to help you get back out on the trail with full energy and a good head on your shoulders. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and head on over to Soberosity's channel to see some other cool healthy living lifestyle tips that they're putting out. Thanks for watching and as always be safe on the trails.